So a few days ago, I was looking at the option of running my own Jitsi bridge on a cloud-based service or on a local machine. Now, the local machine seemed to be a bit too far-fetched for me because it's above my pay grade to work with Linux. I mean, the closest I get is just using Ubuntu desktop. And I kind of know what sudo is and apt get and that sort of thing, but I have to copy and paste instructions. So I thought I want to stay away from that. Um, if somebody needs it, then I'll probably refer them to somebody that can do it. But I thought also that there has to be a cloud-based service, like with all the websites that I develop on WordPress. You go into the hosting platform, click a little script, it installs the core WordPress system, and then you can build your site. So I assume there must be a cloud-based system somewhere that they just build in a script to do this. And that's where my journey started. So at first I went over to Fiverr, um, finding out who would be able to help me, because um, I didn't know if there was the script that I was thinking about. And then this is what I got to see, and the prices were varying from like 500 Rand I'm in South Africa to like 11,500 Rand to install the Jitsi bridge on a server for you. You still have to get the, the actual server, which is a cloud virtual machine setup. So my option would have been Amazon or, you know, Google cloud service or so forth. So I was a bit uh, disheartened with processing this and, and deciding to pay somebody. And I'm not sure if it's exactly where it's going to go to. After a little bit more research, this is where I landed up on. Cloud Jiffy. And how did I get to these guys? I was busy looking at YouTube, how to install um, Jitsi. And this video came up here, installing Jitsi on Cloud Jiffy. Now, I recommend you watch that. That's all I watched and that got me into installing this. Okay, Cloud Jiffy sounds like, a, you know, set up your cloud in a Jiffy kind of thing. Um, this is uh, what it seems to me, it seems to be an, an Indian company. And I've got high regard for, for the Indians. They, they really, in the software world, they're starting to become, you know, excellent and, and great leaders, no matter what people want to say or think about it. So this uh, company has a server in India, one in the US and one in Germany. I set one up. When you set it up, you have the option of selecting which of the servers. I chose the Germany one when I set up. Um, and they have a principle of having cloudlets, which is like a a virtual machine with certain parameters and it dynamically increases so you could reserve say one cloudlet up to 16 and it's just a slider in your back office so when your machine requires more on the fly it increases you don't have to go tweak it you know you're going to use so much now you have to shift it again you kind of give it a range and it only charges you for the stuff that you are using so it's actually a great great model uh, here you can see Reserve cloudlets, you could say I want to reserve one cloudlet and have a buffer up to 16. Dynamic cloudlets means, um, you know, you just use what I need no matter where it goes to. And the nice thing, it's also prepaid, so you don't find yourself sitting with weird bills at the end of the period. So if you're going to be using the actual service a lot, say you set up an e-commerce platform on a virtual machine and you know there's going to be a lot of traffic or something, you can pop into your back end and just you know top up your your pricing so that it keeps the the things up and running okay but that's that you can do research for yourself so this was the process i got here um, and watched that video and then decided okay i probably wouldn't need fiverr let me go in here and see what's going on i went in and man initially it was a bit sort of okay where do i go watch the video again just follow step for step and it was pretty easy so there's my server at the moment and i mean once you've got it installed i'm not going to click this button it gives an ip address here and then from my domain i just go into my dns settings um, and i point from my dns settings i choose an a record so you go in and you say add an a record or you can go to your the a records would be pointing to your current hosting uh, provider you can change that to the IP address that they give you here. And yeah, the other things to bind this to your domain, etc., that you'll see in that video. So this is what I did. And yeah, I've got the thing up and running. And I'm going to click here. This is my one. Like if you notice here, this is the uh, open source uh, Jitsi Orgs 
free one that is actually funded and I think supported by the company 8x8, who has been an incredible supporter of the Jitsi open source community. Uh, they use Jitsi in their platform also. Uh, and they are, you know, an enterprise uh, solution provided to massive companies. That is 8x8. So when you finish with a meeting and you exit, you'll see there's a little punt for 8x8. In this case here, yeah, now I've got it, but I've got the bare bones one, which is no adverts at the bottom, because this is a Jitsi bridge installation on the Cloud Jiffy platform. So I've got my virtual machine all running there. I have pointed it across now, etc., etc. So I mean, here yeah, if I type in my domain where it is, um, I don't want to just put it in here for privacy purposes, and forward slash and the name of the room, then we'll go in as we would usually using Jitsi. Okay, so hopefully this gives you, if you're wanting to set up your own one, whether it's for your church or for your company, um, I think Cloud Jiffy is an excellent option as a cloud service and the installation of the Jitsi meeting is, is just incredible, the Jitsi bridge story. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you and that helps you and then you can get your own private environment. Even though Jitsi is extremely encrypted and powerful and private, you know now that you're having your own Jitsi instance running on your own cloud and nobody's going to be able to interfere with that. So even if you have clients that you're setting it up for, you know, you can set it up as a subdomain for their domain and then just link it to, to the cloud Jiffy that you set up for them. So you can set up multiple, you can even do multiple uh, inst instances of um, Jitsi cloud uh, conferencing service. You can create a few instances and then just point the different domains of your clients to each one of them. So you don't have to open up multiple accounts. Okay, let me show you, uh, let's see. So in here you'll just go in Marketplace and you'll go Jitsi. And there you get Jitsi Video Bridge. You click on, you do the installation and then, oops, where are we? And then you'll see another Jitsi conference. So I could name this maybe uh, John co.za and then Peter co.za say the domains that I'm pointing from to the areas so you can create multiple Jitsi conferencing things and keep all your client stuff in here that's quite cool so hopefully you get excited about that if you are looking at this as an option for yourself God bless